Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, I'm Afifah and thank you for clicking this video Anyways, Ramadan month is coming soon However, when it comes to approaching our Islamic duties We do so little in advance, especially for Ramadan For some reason, we feel we can flick a switch And become great pious personalities overnight In fact, while this may work short term in the long term, you will more likely burn out and return to your former self or in a worse condition. Na'uzubillah. Therefore, it is much better we prepare and plan our teeny activity much like we do for the dunya ones and inshallah, in this manner, we can make the most of the blessed month of Ramadan and remain consistent upon the armal we adopt. By the way, with Ramadan due to start soon, I thought it would be good to make a list of things in preparation for Ramadan. Please leave your comment and suggestion as well via the comment below. You are doing just that right now. MashaAllah. Keep watching videos about Ramadan and start listening to informative and motivational podcasts or reading more articles and books. This is the time to broaden your knowledge so that you can start practicing from now and reminding others as well. Another useful thing to do is to collect and arrange all the books that you plan on reading this Ramadan. Needless to say, the most important of them is the Holy Quran. Another book that's a must-have is a good Hadith book and a tafsir of the Quran. Make a list of all the du'a that you plan on asking Allah. It sounds silly to think you will be reading your handwritten du'a from paper, but that's not why you are making the list. Sometimes we forget an important du'a and wish we remember it at a particular time, for example, during Tahajud prayer. A list will come in handy when you start jotting down whatever du'a comes to your mind before Ramadan. If we can prepare flashcard before an exam, notice before an interview, then why not before asking Allah for his blessings, right? Plan well while you are in the stage of preparing for Ramadan and set doable targets for yourself. Don't plan on finishing the entire tafsir of Quran if you don't even read an ayah a day pre-Ramadan. That way, you will only burn yourself out midway of Ramadan or be depressed if you can't reach your really high set target. A more achievable plan would be to complete the recitation of Quran once during Ramadan and read tafsir of a short surah a day. While you are preparing for Ramadan, buy and store food items for the entire month of Ramadan. Also, buy your eight clothes and anything else you need beforehand. You don't want to spend your precious Ramadan time out in the marketplace hunting for food or clothes. You have been doing that all year. This is the last. Have you got any downloaded songs in your phone or laptop? Maybe some movies or series? If they stay there, chances are you may end up listening to or watching them even during Ramadan. So, to be safe, clean sweep your media files from before, so that even when you are tempted to listen to songs or watch movies during Ramadan, you will be deterred from doing it. If you were to step back a moment and realize that this is the last Ramadan we will see in our lifetime, how would we spend it? How many Muslims do you know of who are in around this year to see Ramadan? that we know can come to us at any time. Yet we still remain so ignorant of the blessing of the time now given to us to be utilized by Allah. 
I pray Allah gives first of all me and all Muslims the ability to utilize the month of Ramadan and safeguard ourselves from the punishment hereafter. Amin. Thank you for watching this video till the end and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.